Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I want to again explore the potential of one light. But to make things a bit more interesting, I will be using this point and shoot camera to create two dramatic portraits. The first one will be a timeless portrait and the second one will be a play of lights and shadows. So the camera that we will be using will be the Sony RX100 Mark 7. It's a 20 megapixel point and shoot camera with a one inch sensor. Fantastic, fantastic camera. This is actually the camera that I bring around whenever I travel with my family and I want to pack light. The light that we will be using will be the Photix Nuada R4. This is a bicolor light, battery operated or it can be plugged to the AC outlet. Gives fantastic, fantastic soft light as you guys will see later. As with most of my demo videos, I like being able to give you guys a first person's perspective of what I am shooting. So I want you to see what my camera is seeing. So I am able to do that by connecting my camera via HDMI to this one. This is the Hollyland Mars 300 Pro. This is basically a Wi-Fi transmitter. So it takes a signal that comes from my camera, transmits it via Wi-Fi that is now picked up by my phone via the Hollyview app. So once it's here in my phone, I am now able to record, therefore showing you guys whatever it is that my camera is seeing. So with that out of the way, let's start shooting. All right, as I said earlier, we're gonna be doing two layouts. One is timeless in nature. So we're gonna do one of my go-to lights, which is lighting the short side. So if you guys wanna know more about my detailed explanation on why I love lighting in the short side, I will put a link in the video description below because I already did a video with regards to that. But to run you guys through it, basically the light will be coming from this side, lighting this side of her face that's away from the camera. And I will be using this foam board as a reflector. As with any camera, your focal length is always going to be important. So since I am shooting a portrait, I want to keep my focal length to between 85 or 135. But, well, I guess since this one won't be such a tight portrait, maybe I can go with a 70 millimeter there. And then I will have my wife post this way. Can you give me your back, please? As you guys can see now, I am lighting the short side of her face, meaning the light is coming from here and it's just reflecting back. Now, the light is angled also in such a way so that it doesn't hit the background and we can get a completely black background. Okay, so let's go to the settings of the camera. This particular lens, the aperture varies depending on the focal length, so I'll keep it on aperture priority. My ISO is set on auto, my shutter speed, the camera is the one that's dependent on what it's going to set for this particular exposure. Now, I will also set my white balance. My white balance will be set to 5600 Kelvin, which is the light, the color temperature of that Photix Nuada R4. So let's put it on Kelvin, 5600 Kelvin. Okay. Now, if you look at it, everything is overexposed because the focusing mode that I am using, oh, sorry, the metering mode that I am using is the multi. But with this particular scene, I always, light, I always like exposing for the highlights. So with the Sony cameras, there is actually a metering mode that's set for highlights. So there, perfect. So we're getting somewhere already, but I still feel that the pose is a bit off. Can you give me more of your back? Okay. And then look back towards there. Okay. I also have my exposure compensation set here on the dial in front so that I can adjust it to how I want it to look like. So my metering mode is already set for the highlights, but I want to be able to control it a bit more. So I'm underexposing it by about one stop. Good. And smile a bit there. Good. Smiling eyes. Beautiful. Good. Tilt your head away. Sorry. There. Good. There we go. And smile. There. Beautiful. By actually facing this light here more, you're making the light that's bouncing off her stronger. There. And final. And with a hint of a smile, smile with your eyes. And part your mouth a bit. And 
There we go. That's perfect. All right. So that is a quick, what, one minute, two minute portrait. So I just, I just did this in order to show you guys that so long as you have beautiful light, even with a point and shoot, you could get amazing images. Okay, so now to the next layout. Okay, so for the second layout, the reflector that I had here, I put it here in the back to create a, basically a black and white backdrop. My light now, I still kept it at 100% and still at 5600 Kelvin, but I put it further away to make it harsher, to create a stronger line in the center. And I put it on the side so that it just illuminates this area of Coco's face. All right, babe. Let's, so the key here is trying to get her symmetrically at center and her looking straight at me and her head straight for this image to work. Can we have your left shoulder this way a bit? There we go. Perfect. All right. Nice. Good. Chin down a bit. Good. Nice. Nose this way. There, perfect. Hold that. Wait, there's something here in the back. Mm -hmm. Guys, you shouldn't be touching your models, but Coco's my wife, so I can't touch her. But if you're shooting people who aren't related to you, so make sure you don't touch them the way I'm touching her, okay? Just putting that disclaimer there. Okay. Okay, so can you look at me? Good. Uh, nose this way. Not too much, bring it back. Your left shoulder, bring it up a bit. Too much, bring it down. Good. Separate a bit. Good. Oh, let's fix this one so that we don't need to. Okay. Very nice. Nose a tad bit this way. Too much, bring it back. Bring it back some more. Okay, chin down. Good, I like that. Very nice. Your left shoulder, bring it this way a bit. Too much, some more. Okay, good. Chin going here. Too much, bring it back. All right, perfect. Head tilt this way. Too much, up, oh, that's it. All right, perfect. Okay, chin down. Part your mouth a bit. There we go. I think we were able to get what we wanted. That was it. Two dramatic portraits in less than 10 minutes using a point and shoot camera. But of course, this is no ordinary point, of shoot, point and shoot camera. This is the RX100 Mark VII from Sony. It's really a fantastic, fantastic camera. But the principles that I used here remains the same whether or not I'm using my full frame interchangeable lens camera. Meaning the focal length that I set here earlier was still the same focal length that I will be using if I shoot a standard portrait with again my 35 millimeter. So I stuck between 70 to 135, 70 if I shot a bit wider, but if I, if I were to go in closer, I'd still shoot her with an 85 millimeter. The principles of light still remain the same, meaning the closer you put the light, the more contrast that you're gonna have, the further away the light is, the harsher the light will be. And the, the fact that I still love shooting with my short lighting instead of broad lighting just to be able to slim the face. So the purpose of this entire exercise was really to show you guys that equipment does matter to a certain degree, but it is more important for you guys to know the fundamentals of photography and lighting to be able to create timeless and beautiful images. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you wanna see more of the images that I've created, you can follow me on Instagram, it's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, babe, let's do another video soon. All right, okay, bye guys. <laughs> okay, so that was it. That's basically, yeah, that's okay. Okay, 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 perfect. So that was it, that was it.